Welcome to an example on how to factor a quadratic expression using the technique of factor by grouping. So our goal here is to factor 3x squared minus 17x plus 24 using the grouping technique. So if we have a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, the steps to factor by grouping are shown here below, where step one is to find the factors of ac that add to b. So first we need to recognize that a, the coefficient of x squared is 3, b, the coefficient of x is negative 17, and c, the constant term, is positive 24. And therefore, a times c, or ac, is equal to 3 times 24, which equals 72. So for step one, we need to find the factors of positive 72 that add to b, or in this case, add to negative 17. Because a times c is positive, but we know the sum of the factors of 72 must add to negative 17, the factors of 72 we're looking for are both going to be negative. That's the only way we can find two numbers that will multiply to give us positive 72 and add to negative 17. Now if we're able to just think of the factors of positive 72 that add to negative 17, that's great, but if not, we can always just list them and then analyze the list. Let's go ahead and list all the factors of positive 72 that would have a negative sum. Well, of course, we could start with negative 1 times negative 72, and then we would have negative 2 times negative 36, negative 3 times negative 24, negative 4 times negative 18, negative 6 times negative 12, and finally negative 8 times negative 9. So we're looking for the two factors here that have a sum of negative 17. And notice how those two factors would be negative 8 and negative 9 because negative 8 plus negative 9 does equal negative 17, which is b. Now for step 2, we're going to rewrite the bx term, or in this case, the term negative 17x as a sum or difference using the factors from step 1. So because the factors that we found from step 1 are negative 8 and negative 9, we are going to write negative 17x as negative 8x plus negative 9x, or just negative 8x minus 9x. So we'd have 3x squared. Again, instead of minus 17x, we'll have negative 8x minus 9x, and we still have plus 24. So notice how this expression is equivalent because negative 8x minus 9x is still negative 17x. But we need it in this form in order to factor by grouping, which is outlined in the next three steps. So step three, we divide or group the polynomial in half. So because we have four terms, the first half would be the first two terms, the second half would be the second two terms. Step four is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So looking at just the first two terms, notice how the greatest common factor would be x. So if we factor x from just the first two terms, we'd have x times the quantity 3x minus 8. And now we want to factor the greatest common factor from the second two terms. The greatest common factor between these two terms would be 3. Notice how if we factor out positive 3, we'd be left with negative 3x plus 8. And we need these two binomial factors to be the same. Notice how right now they're opposites. So instead of factoring out positive 3, we want to factor out negative 3. So if we want to factor out negative 3, we're going to write minus 3. If we factor out negative 3 from negative 9x, we're left with positive 3x. If we factor out negative 3 from positive 24, we're left with negative 8, which is equivalent to minus positive 8. And if we distribute just to check, notice how we would have negative 9x plus 24. And notice how we do have a common binomial factor. And for step five, our last step, we now want to factor out the common binomial factor, which again, in this case, we can see is 3x minus 8. Both of these products contain a factor of 3x minus 8. So if we factor out 3x minus 8, notice how we'd be left with x minus 3, which is the second factor. So this is the factored form of the given quadratic expression. Now, of course, to check this, we can find this product, and let's go ahead and check it. We have the quantity 3x minus 8 times the quantity x minus 3. To find this product, we distribute 3x. 
then distribute negative 8, so we'll have four products. So 3x times x, that'd be 3x squared. 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x, which we can write as minus 9x. Now we distribute negative 8. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. So we have minus 8x. And then finally we have negative 8 times negative 3, which is positive 24. So we have plus 24. Combining like terms, notice that negative 9x minus 8x is negative 17x. So this simplifies to 3x squared minus 17x plus 24, which is the same as the given expression, which verifies we factored this correctly. I hope you found this helpful.